Hi, right, so guys, hello. This is Michelle and this is my friend Nina. So today we are in Fulong Mountain Biking Park and right now they have a, like a carnival this week, right? So they actually have BMX race, gravel race and downhill race and what else? Um, there are like motorcycles and yeah. um, enduro race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And e-bike enduro uh, race. E-bikes. Yeah, yeah. So today is the final race of downhill. So yeah. she is the most likely champion for the downhill race, right? Whoa! <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically, um, this video we are trying to introduce something about mountain biking in China to whom may have no idea what's going on in China, especially in mountain biking, or to whom may want to travel to China and try something different. So before it starts, um, just let me introduce myself a little bit. So my name is Michelle, and I've been doing mountain biking for couple years since I was in college, yes. And then um, I usually ride bike in Beijing, sometimes in Fulong as well. And so right now I have like two bikes. One is ET SB um, 130, yes. And the other one is a e-bike from DJI. DJI is a drone, drone company, yes. Um, so, and this is Nina. She's a really, really great mountain biker. So let's welcome her. Oh, um, hi, I'm Nina and I'm from Beijing. I'm 17 years old, currently studying in the US. And I've been mountain biking for around almost three years. And um, when I'm in Beijing, I just go to the suburb areas to ride. And then I ride in Fulong, um, Hebei in the summer. And yeah, uh, I ride a Trek Slash. Yeah, from yeah. yeah, I really like that bike. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so, um, so mountain biking in China has been like developed twenty years or so or more. Yeah, yeah, um, already. It's it's pretty young though compared to like Europe, the States, and New Zealand or Australia. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I think there are more and more young people joining this sports recently, especially Mr. Ding and his team um, building this whole mountain biking park. So Nina, could you like introduce a little bit about the full mountain biking park just behind us a little bit, like how many trials they have and what kinds of bikes we can rent and how much for the ticket uh, kind of things. So I didn't count um, totally how much, but I will, I think there's around eight to nine trails here. They're, they're like family trails, green line, blue line, we have A line and then black line also. Mm -hmm. So there's a variety. Mm -hmm. And w actually I feel like the development has been very big um, just this year. Cause last year we only had three lines. It was yeah. blue line, green line and A line. Yeah. Also black line, but it wasn't open to everyone. So. This year we've developed a lot more trails and then there's a lot more races also this year. We had three races in Fulong this summer. Last year we only had one, which is the carnival. Uh -huh. And yeah, I've been enjoying the trails a lot here. My favorite will probably be A-Line and the new, new blue line. We also call it yeah. the New Zealand line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you don't like the black line? Oh yeah, I've been up there once. It's really rocky. Yeah, it's pretty rocky, pretty uh -huh. steep. Um, uh -huh. They said they built it off the UCI standards. I would say yeah. <laughs> There's like road, big road gaps and just steep, steep features. Yeah, of course. And also the really big difference between this year and the last year is the amount of um, the, the female group. Like last year, they were only like. Five? Six or five. Six, Six or, five or five female girls joined the, the race, but this year there are like 15. And yeah. then also like they only, they have the qualification, like only like 10 female can join the final race. That's, that's really crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel that too. Yeah. Like compared to other mountain biking parks that you have tried before, like how do you 
say the differences between those? Well, I've ridden in one mountain bike park in the US. It's called Thunder Mountain Bike Park. I do feel like the trails there are a lot more mature and like well-developed than here. But I feel like since I'm Chinese, so like riding in a Chinese environment is more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. I have a lot more friends here yeah. and um, we always help each other out and stuff. So I feel like that is something that feels better for me. But um, riding in America is totally different as well. Um, a lot a lot more pros over there and like the pro lines are all very well developed. So yeah, I feel like that's the biggest difference, I guess. I heard about there are lots of like local trails oh, yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah, basically. So I live in a very remote area in the, um, I, I live in Massachusetts. I go to school in Massachusetts. Um, my school is in, in a really remote um, town. But we do have like one mountain next to our little town and there's so many local trails there and it's great. Most of them are um, cross country trails, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, I have, a, I have a, like extra questions. Like, is there any community to 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 ask people to build the trails, or they just naturally there? Uh, I think there there definitely is a community. I know. So the mountain that's next to our school is owned by another middle school um, around us, and uh -huh. the middle school, like the mountain, is owned by the middle school. So uh -huh. they they like organize people and stuff to build the build all the trails because they have like a mountain biking program or it's like a sport in their school so Ooh. like yeah um the school pretty much built all the trails wow yeah it's Isn't really mountain nice biking school oh no 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 it's just a sport there <laughs> okay. not not only for mountain biking okay that's so cool so um okay the last questions so nina as a generation z like and have been living in china and the states both these two countries. How do you feel about the vibes uh, between these two countries, especially in mountain biking in this area? I feel like um, the biggest difference I see is that in the US, there's a lot more old people, older people yeah. riding there. Like when I'm on my local trails, I see like grannies and like right. grandpas, like 70 years old, like still on their bikes riding. Wow. Here it's more um, teenagers yeah. dominated, I think. Uh -huh. And um, the vibes, I think both are pretty good. Um, China, we're like, we're, we're still growing. The yeah. popularity is still growing. Um, in the US, it's definitely a lot more mature. And people know, in the US, people know the sport a lot more than China here. But yeah, I feel like both are all developing and I think it's a good sign. It's a good sign. So would you recommend people outside from China wanted to come here? Oh yeah, I would. Um, it's pretty nice here. So I mean, if people want to see how Chinese mountain biking is really going, I really recommend coming to Fulong or there's some other bike parks um, in the southern area of China. And yeah, I really recommend it. It's really convenient for people like travel to China and come to here because it's only like two and a half hours of driving from Beijing to here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also there's a high-speed train, only takes one and a half hours kind yeah. of thing. Okay, so thank you, Nina. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye.